Welcome to our Spark SQL tutorial. If you're new to Spark, you might be wondering how to effectively manage your data. Today, we're answering a great question. How does create or replace temp view work in Spark? We'll also explore whether Spark keeps all the data in memory when we register an RDD of objects as a table. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding what create or replace temp view does in Spark. This function allows you to register a data frame as a temporary view. Once you create a temporary view, you can run SQL queries against it using Spark SQL. This is particularly useful for data analysis. Now regarding your question about RDDs, when you register an RDD as a temporary view, Spark does not keep all the data in memory. Instead, it optimizes the execution plan. The data is stored in a distributed manner, and Spark will load it into memory as needed during query execution. This ensures efficient resource usage. In summary, create or replace temp view is a powerful feature in Spark that allows for SQL-like querying of data frames without keeping all data in memory. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Spark, to use SQL with data frames, you need a table definition with column names. Instead of creating permanent tables in Hive, which can clutter the Metastore, Spark creates a temporary view. This view is available for use like any Hive table, but is removed once the Spark context stops. To create this temporary view, developers use the function create or replace temp view. This utility allows you to define a view that can be queried using SQL without creating permanent tables. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh.